Still on friends, I hope all is well in Proverbs 18 verses 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. We all got parasites, bacteria, candida, and worms. And as a kid, when you go to the clinics, the nurse gives you a dewormer to get rid of worms. You have good bacteria and bad bacteria, some with, same with candida, but sometimes candida overgrown, and that's mostly because of the things that we eat. If you had an unhealthy diet, the conditions become favorable for the bad stuff to grow, especially if you have inflammation. Parasites can change your behavior, cause the host to suicide. They can influence your decision making. Basically, can mind control you. These parasites, and there are many types, are like leeches. They suck you dry, taking your nutrients. All the bad stuff is unclean spirits, and when you have fungi spores, they are very resistant to get rid of, but not impossible. It's just going to take more time. When you create um, they can create fear and feed on your energy of intense negative emotions and darker sexual desires. They can bring up faulty images and give you nightmares and sexual dreams. They enter through contaminated water and foods, but also through any open barriers such as your eyes, your ears, your nose, your skin, your mouth, your private parts, navel area. They attach themselves to you, not possess you. When you stand on your authority, this will minimize them. I used to hear someone curse and shouting at me, but it didn't last long. There were also voices telling me to kill myself, and yet I knew that it ain't me. Some awaken love too early and get these attachments because they are looking for those who are on heat, watching pornography, sleeping around with multiple partners, etc. Some get attachment through rejection, abandonment, brokenness, unforgiveness, bitterness, etc., negative emotions. These parasites are the incubus male and subcubus females, and they cause these evil sexual thoughts in your mind. Watch what you speak and try to be more positive. Rebuke them, fast and pray, and always seek God for understanding. Have an eye-opening day, and God loves you.